Herbs and Cattle Photography of Lanark, Illinois, and the premiums are sponsored by Bomatic of Madison, Wisconsin. For those of you following along in the Ayrshire ring, our last place class was the senior three-year-olds. We had 13 senior three-year-olds. Entry 544 was seventh. 547 was 13th. Entry 548 was second. First bread and known and the production award winner, Onward Calamaro Addy, exhibited by Jonna Schutte of Olwine, Iowa. At two years, three months, Addy produced 26,067 pounds of milk in 365 days with a 3.9, 1,012% protein and a 3.2, 824 pounds of fat. Entry 549 was sixth. Entry 550 was third. G-Force Sargis Haley, exhibited by G-Force Ayrshire's Tim Mary and Katie Gillette of Whitewater, Wisconsin. Entry 551 was 11th. 552 was fifth. Entry 585 did not show. 557 was 10th. 558 was eighth. And second junior, Flowerland Black Tuesday, exhibited by Rex Seth and Sophia Eiler, Larwell, Indiana. Entry 560 did not show. 562 was ninth. 563 was fourth and first junior. Gemin Echo show star Shirley, exhibited by Hardy, Virgin, Rida, and Gibson of Eminence, Kentucky. Entry 564 was 12th. And entry 565 was the winning entry in Best Utter, Forever Schoon Ping, exhibited by Firm de la Plaine, St. Francois, Quebec. The class now in the ring are the four-year-olds. First place award presented by Leanne Farms, the Kelly family of Deerfield, Wisconsin. The production award is presented by Swiss Valley Farms, Davenport, Iowa, and the Best Utter Rosette, presented by the Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin. The junior award is presented by P&A Ayrshire's The Cruz Family of Dyersville, Iowa. At this time, in the International Junior Holstein Show ring, we would like to make a very special presentation to a young man here from the Upper Midwest. It's time to announce our Judy Collinsworth Outstanding Junior Exhibitor Memorial Award winner. Those of you that may remember Judy Collinsworth spent a great number of years with Holstein USA, and she certainly spent a great deal of time and effort to improve and expand the programs available to Holstein youth. Judy was the executive director and member in industry relations. She was responsible for telemarketing, member-related programs, state association communications, member services, and association external affairs. Judy was a driving force behind the financial needs of supporting youth programs at Holstein. We certainly lost Judy a number of years ago, but if you turn your attention to the International Junior Holstein show ring, Judge Tandy has completed his placings in the four-year-old cow class. Placing third in the class was entry number 263, Rocky Road Stormatic Kitty, exhibited by Jordan and Crystal Seamers Peterman, exhibit at, of Cleveland, Wisconsin. Second in that class was entry 268, Reggie Durham Toby, exhibited by Kyle Natsky of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And entry 271 was our winning entry, Nabholtz Dundee Sally, exhibited by Rocco Cunningham of Pengrove, California. Congratulations. Judge Tandy, your comments. Well, thanks. And of all the classes we've had today, this probably was one of the more challenging ones because, again, we have a pair of cows at the top that are quite different from one another. But when it all comes out and the scorecard says 40 points on memory systems, it gives you no choice but to take this black cow, even though she doesn't have the frame of the second place cow, and start her out. What an udder. It's in there tight to the fore, exceptional height and width of rear udder. With that goes the correct T placement underneath there and just quite a cow. And in fact, when you pull them into line, you know, you see them on the outside of the ring and you think she sacrifices quite a bit in terms of size, the first over the second. But you get them into line and there just isn't that much difference there. The cow in, in second is certainly a tall, long cow, very correct. Correct size and shape of teeth. Today, a couple of things. Not quite the height and width the rear udder we've got in the first, nor as correct in the set to the rear leg in that hawk area as what the first place cow is today. Second over third today, just a little stronger up over the top, a little more general appearance on the side view, 
and also uh, an udder that's just in there a little tighter, both fore and rear, as you see them walk by. Beautiful classic cows, and, and certainly uh, some differences at the top, uh, but when in doubt, go with memory systems, in my opinion, and I did that with the black cow.